Hi, I am Aliza Tanbeer from Skillcurve. In this video, you will learn how to configure PyCharm as your Spark Development IDE. And for that, firstly we are going to create a new project in PyCharm. Then we are going to set the interpreter for Python. Then we are going to add the Spark dependency since we are going to use Spark. And then finally we are going to execute our project. In this series, I am going to use the PyCharm Community Edition and I am assuming that you already have PyCharm installed on your machine. We will be using Python as a Spark programming language and if you have PyCharm and Python installed on your machine, then you are all set to use it. So, firstly, I am going to open the PyCharm and here I have created an empty project. So, the first thing that I need to do is to set up the interpreter. And to do so, you have to go to File and from there you have to select the settings. And once the settings box is opened, you have to navigate to your project name and once you click on it, you have to go to Python interpreter. You have to make sure that your Python interpreter has the same version as the version of your Python installed on your system. You can verify it by opening command prompt and typing the command Python in it. It is going to return you the Python version that is installed in your system. So make sure that this version is similar to the python version that is installed in the system close it okay so the next step is to install certain dependencies and for that open the terminal and type the command pip install and after that you have to write pypandoc so this is going to install the directory that is used by pyspark for this project once you write the command simply press enter and the library will be installed the next thing that we need to install is the PySpark because we are going to use PySpark with the PyCharm. So for that you have to write the command pip and then you have to write minus minus no cache directory install and then type PySpark. So once you press enter the installation will start and it is going to take some time for downloading because it is going to download the data and then it is going to install it into our system okay so you can see that PySpark has been successfully installed into our project you can also verify it by going to the settings and inside your python interpreter once it loads you will see two new dependencies added which is the PySpark and the Py4j these two are simultaneously installed into your system okay so this shows that they have been added so the first step is completed let's move towards the second step and for that right click on your project directory and click on directory i am going to call it data this is the folder inside which i am going to place my data set for this project so i have already downloaded this file called sample.csv it will be present in the git repository and you can get it from there copy it and paste it inside the directory that we just created so you will see that the sample.csv file will be copied into our data directory of the project so once it is done the data set has been added to our project nextly we will go to our virtual environment and inside the virtual environment you have to find a directory named lib and once you open it you find the lib directory and you will see that it has a single file called init.py we have to add two new files into this so i'm going to add two new files called utils.py and logger.py and i'm going to paste these two files inside the lib directory so now the lib directory has three files okay so you'll get these files from the github as well so once the files are placed in the lib directory I am going to copy some code into my main.py file. So I have already copied some data into here. I am simply going to select all of this, copy it and paste it inside my main.py file. So this is the code. Inside this code, firstly I am going to change the project name. So this is the code inside which I am firstly importing certain libraries. Then I am going to define that my logger is the log4g then i am going to display that if the number of arguments are invalid it is going to display as the error otherwise it is going to display starting the hello spark and then 
we are going to create a data frame object to read the data from the file that we added inside our data directory. So in this chunk of code, we are creating different data frame objects. Firstly, we are loading the data from the file just that we placed in our data directory. Then after loading the data, we are repartitioning it on the basis of certain value. And then we are simply creating a new data frame object and inside which we are using the count by country function to count the data present inside the partition data frame. And then simply we are going to display the count data frame and it is going to return us the count of countries present inside the data frame. Then it, the logger is going to display us that it has finished the hello spark file and the spark will stop. Now let's go and execute the file. Once you click on the run button, you will get an error. This is because we have not set certain configurations. So open your file explorer and you have to go to the directory where your spark is present. Click on it, you have to go to conf folder. And once you click on it, you will have to find the file spark defaults config. Your file will have the dot template extension. Right click on it, click on rename and remove the dot template file. Then open this file and you have to add this line inside it which is spark.driver.extra java options and after that you have to provide these values you will see that it has a value log4g.properties file so i have this file in my downloads i am going to copy this from our downloads directory and i am going to paste it inside my project by right clicking and selecting the paste option so you will see that the log4j.properties file will be placed inside your project. Once this is done, go back to your file explorer and we have to add another file into our project. And this file is spark.config file. Since we are working with spark, we have to add a different configuration file for it. You will find this file in your git repository. Copy this and paste it inside your project. And you will get the spark.config file in your project. Once this is done, Execute your project once again and once you click the run button, you will get again an error but this time the error is different and this is because we have added the data set which is sample.csv inside the data directory but this data set needs to be passed via the command line and to add the parameter in the command line, go to edit configuration in the run and inside the parameters option, provide the path where your file is present along with its extension and then click apply and click ok. Now it should be good to go. Once again press the run button. It is going to take some time and after a while you will see that it is going to display us the data that we displayed using our code. So it has returned us three countries United States, Canada and United Kingdom and the count of the values for each of the countries. So the United States count is four for Canada it is 2 and for United Kingdom it is 1. So this display data shows that we have correctly configured our PySpark to run in our PyCharm community edition. So once you have done you can use any of the code example to run. This is the one that I use. You can run any other example that you want to ensure that your PyCharm has been successfully configured. That's all for this video. Thank you.